All right. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about radio DJ. Some of you have asked me about it. I've looked into it. I played with it and guess what? I love it. I currently have four versions loaded up on my machine and guess what? I can load each and every one of them as a separate station. Okay. This is version 173. Here's version 172. Okay. You can see it at the top version 172. Put that over there. Here's version 171. Okay. See so at the top one, 171. And version 165. Okay. And that's version one. So I, I, right now I have four stations running or at least up, up to run. One of them is actually running. The other three are just so that I can see if this could be ran all at one time. Here's one of the things that is remarkable about this software. It doesn't have an installer. It runs right from the folder. Okay. However you do, you still need a MySQL. You still need to install MySQL on your windows machine. And also you notice, you see my name, Roderick Carter live. That is a PNG that you can put on each of your stations. You give each one of them a different PNG if you're running multiple stations. So let's close these and let's go over my little overview of radio DJ. The first thing you notice is this thing looks really, really nice. It's nicely colored. It looks fun. Someone told me it looks sexy. So I guess, Hey, it looks sexy. <laughs> now you notice at the bottom down, this thing is flashing. That is the event that is getting ready to happen. All right. It says bottom of the hour legal ID card. That's getting ready to happen in, in about 40 seconds. So I'll just double click on that. So you can see this is the event window. You can come in here and you can edit the event. Um, as you can see, I have the bottom of the hour legal ID that's coming up next. There's the play to Fox news. That's coming at the, uh, 55 after, um, loading on R and B is coming 58 after top of the hour legal ID, a jingle and a jingle to the top. Okay. You can't hear it, but it just played that event. It, it lowered the music and play it. Uh, I'm not playing the music because YouTube has an algorithm that if I'm playing copyrighted material, it, it'll try to overwrite it. And, and I'm like, wow. Okay. So in order to show you these videos, I have to not have the music playing. I hear it in my ear. However, I got a commercial block event, download the Fox news event. I know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in that. Um, bottom of the hour. We just heard that play the Fox news and then load a gospel, uh, rotation on the odd hours. So it is, um, 1230 here, my time. So the next hour is a odd hour. So, uh, R and B is running right now. This thing flawlessly changes genres. Like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it's nice, but to continue with my overview, of course, up at the top, you have your stop, your start and pause button. And I don't know restart button. Don't know why they have that, but Hey, as well as the song information over to the right. If the song has an intro file, it'll display here. If it has an outro file, it'll display here. One of the beautiful things I like about this program is you can actually assign sweepers to play over the intro of a song. Um, like you may hear now where you hear the artist say, Hey, this is um, I don't, Michael Jackson and you're listening to whatever, whatever radio station. And then you hear his song radio DJ makes that easy. It's a little, it takes a little, it's a little learning curve to this program. That's why I'm creating training videos. But once you learn this program, you're going to love this program. And then of course the track remaining time and your current time and your own logo below that is the day's date. The sweepers, um, it switches depending on what hour of the day is. So it lets you know that all the sweepers that's going to play right now will be daily sweepers. You can create a category for daily sweepers, nightly sweepers, afternoon sweepers, and morning sweepers. It's cool. 
Then over here, you have your VU meters. Below the VU meters is your queue. And the queue, you can grab any song and throw it in the queue. Okay. And I guess you have to put it in the next available slot. This is your queue. Between the queue, you have your auto DJ button, your automated, uh, your insert, your replace, clear, and input. Um, and then you can save, save that queue or even load up a playlist into the queue. Below the queue is your history page and a song detail page shows you the details of the song that's currently playing over here to the right is your songs. It's like your playlist, I guess your ma your master playlist, all your songs. You can even switch and say, I only want to look at station IDs. Okay. There's your station ID. Um, so that if you want to grab a station ID and throw it in there, you can, um, radio shows. If I had radio shows in here, they would show, um, so this is the, and then you can search for funk for what you want just by typing it up here. Okay. Then this right here, I really love this. This is called the instant players and you can have as many of these boogers if you, uh, that you want. All right. You can even have a category for each of these right now. It's set on announcer voiceovers. So all of these are announcer voiceovers. You can also change the color. So if you want to give all of them different colors, not a problem. I see you see 30 of these. If I only want 10, I can show 10. If I want a hundred, I can show a hundred. Okay. Again, I said, this is the announcer voiceovers. I can switch this over and now I have the station IDs. If I have a bunch of station IDs, I created a category for my instant players called station IDs and they're here. You can play them on the fly. And what it did was it dropped the music, played that over the top of it. Below that are your auxiliary players. This is great for music beds. If you want to open up the mic and talk, you would um, load in a music track in here and hit the loop, hit the play button so you can talk. And talking over the air is as easy as just pushing this one button right here. Now I'm live and I'm talking over the air. Okay. It's just that simple. And it sounds pretty good too. Then also in this section up here is the encoder. And right now um, I'm encoding to uh, a, a, a C plus to an ice cast. You can do shout cast one and two and ice cast. Those are the only ones you can do. I don't, I'm not sure if you can do windows media. I don't think some people use an external software to stream. I like the guy that created the plugin for this so that we can encode directly from within the program itself. Below here is your events. And as you can see, Fox news is, is ready to play at it in about 18 minutes. It's counting down to the time this event is going to actually run. If I double click that, I can see a listing of all my events. Um, if I change this view by the hour, this is just a listing of all the events. But if I click this, it'll show me hour by hour as the day goes. So we know the Fox news is coming up. We know load R and B R and B is running right now, but look here, I got here load R and B rotation on the even hours. So even though it says 1258 here, it's not going to load it because the next hour is one. That's an odd. What's going to load on that hour is right here. The gospel, the gospel is going to load on the odd hours. Um, so this, this station or this setup has been running and switching from R and B to gospel every hour. And it's been doing it flawlessly on time. Every time I love it. Um, play Fox news. I got that going bottom of the hour legal ID. Got that going even have an event to download the Fox news. Um, my commercial block event, add a jingle to the top event and the top of the hour legal ID. Now with this program, if you have a song that's crossing over the top of the hour, this program will allow you, you can set it up to where, um, 
it'll play the station ID without killing the song, which a lot of people like. And I kind of like to, you know, that's a bonus. That's a plus. I like that. And we're going to get into that. Now, those of you who know me, you know, I'm um, I'm the one that owns and operates my Sam Broadcaster setup dot com, which is a very, very successful and very, very um, detailed site on how to run Sam Broadcaster. Well, I've decided to dive into Radio DJ because I like it so much. I'm going to be training on that as well. And you can um, get more information about that on how to set up radio dj.com last but not least is at the bottom you have the track manager this allows you to load in tracks change tracks move them around do different things to the tracks you have a playlist builder so that you can build different playlists okay uh now I'm playing info i think this helps with uh displaying information on your website um doing custom titles like if that's playing, I, I think you can type something in there and, and update it. I'll get more on that. Your audio processing deals with um, your compressor, your equalizer, automatic gain control. Okay, so you can get a good sound. Here's the other beautiful thing about this program. You can use VST plugins with this program. It's a little workaround, but it can be done. We're going to be talking about that as well utilities things that you need to do optimize your database verify your tracks things of that nature it even has reports to print out or display reports and then your options the options is where you go in set up your sound cards um the auto dj setup which is up here at the top the auto dj and this is where you go in the setup don't play you know your rules rotation rules and things of that nature your stream titles, your name of your radio station, all of that can be set up. Um, also under option is your, your rotations, creating rotations, um, events, plugins, categories, directory, and track in, import. All in all, Radio DJ is an awesome program. So this is my little overview of Radio DJ. Didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to share with you guys that I am studying it. It is a powerful program. Um, I would suggest any and everybody, if you really want to get into broadcasting and you don't have the funds to get some of the other software, listen, get this program. Now, it has a learning curve, and this is the reason why I'm creating a training website for it. It does have a, a learning curve. And so I'm going to take the time, learn the software. I've already done it really, but I'm going to take the time and, and create the, the training software or the training videos, I should say, so that you can learn how to use this program for yourself. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know below what you think and make sure you subscribe to my video channel or YouTube channel so that you can keep up with uh, what I got going on. All right. Thanks guys.